lecture we will discuss about milli machine and moore machine these are a part of a finite state machine but the basic difference is that a milli machine where the output always depends on the present input and present state and in case of moore machine the output always depends on the present state but independent of the current input so if i consider uh, the value of the output as qt sorry not qt uh, if the output if i consider it as zt and the present input as qt and present state as xt then we can say that milli machine where the present output zt is a function of qt and xt means the output depends on the present state and present input and in case of moore machine if i consider the moore machine the output zt is a function of present state and independent of the present input output depends on the present state and independent of present input let us see through an example and if you go for the formal definition of a moore machine we can write that a moore machine is a six tuple what are the six tuple q sigma delta q0 and f and another is that big delta so where q is the finite set of state sigma is the input alphabet delta is the output alphabet in this case we have to consider the output also small delta is the transition function that we know that delta is the transition function and we know also the definition of transition function where sigma cross q which is also q that is the transition function of a dfa basically q0 is the initial state f 
F is the final state. Now, let us show uh, through an example which one is the Mille machine and which one is the Moore machine. Let us draw a state table. Sorry. Now consider this two table and try to figure out what is the basic difference between these two table. Both are the finite state machine and both are represented through a state uh, represented through a state table. Now in this case q0 uh, is the initial state and in this case q1 is the initial state. Now look at this one after uh, at q0 if I give an input 0 it is the next state is going to q3 and if I give 1 the next state is going to q1 and look at this output this output 0 is associated with the output q0 similarly output 1 is associated with q1 this 0 is associated with q2 and this 0 is q uh, associated with q3 whereas in the next tab uh, table uh, for the initial state q1 if i give 0 input it is going to the next state q3 and the output it is showing 0 means that this 0 output is associated with the next state q3 whereas if I give an input 1, it is transiting to Q2, that is the next state is Q2 and the output 0, this is associated with Q2 only. Now try to figure out the basic difference between the output that has been displayed in this two table. Here the output is associated with the present state, here the output is associated with the next state. Now look at this, if I change the state in the first table, my output is getting changed. It is independent of the input, whatever be the input, it, uh, based on the input, my output is not changing. But here, 
my output is based on my present state if my change state changes from q1 to q2 my output also get changes from 0 to 1 not only that if my input also get changed my output is also getting changed in this case the output may be same for the different input but in the next state for q2 for input 0 the i am getting the output 1 and for input 1 i am getting the output 0 now can i say this output this output depends on present state depends on state but independent of input but this output whatever be the output depends on state as well as input also. So, this machine is obviously the Moore machine and this machine is the Milli machine. Now, in the next uh, thing that we are going to discuss is to if a Moore machine is given to you how to convert it to Milli machine and if a Milli machine is given to you how to convert it to Moore machine. Now, in this case, I have to convert it to milli machine. So, one thing I we have to keep it in mind that this 0 is the output associated with Q3, right? And this uh, 0 is output associated with Q2. Now, just change it instead of the next state, I have to write the output with the present state only. It is very easy. Present state here, I have to write next state a equal to 0 then a equal to 1 and here I have to write the output. This one is q1, q2, q3, q4. Now, remove all the output from here in case of milli machine because milli machine does not contain the output associated with the next step. So, just write q3 
q2 q1 q4 q2 q1 q4 and q3 now try to find out that what is the output associated with q1 now here look at this the output associated with q1 is 1 here is also the output associated with q1 is 1 so just write here 1 now try to find out what is the output associated with q2 here we can see that the output associated with q2 is 0 but here the output associated with q2 is 1 so it's a big confusion that what out which output we have to give so if we find out that in case of a milli machine a state associated with multiple outputs multiple means only two outputs 0 or 1 that case we have to divide that particular state into two part that is one state which is associated with the output 0 and we will rename this state as q to 0 another state which is associated with the output 1 and we will rename this output as 1 and this will only be applicable for those states which are producing different outputs in the milli machine which is possibly uh, which is uh, uh, which we can see that in case of this example so here instead of writing output only q to 0 we have to write it uh, q2 we have to write it as q to 0 here and instead of q2 here only we have to write it as q to 0 so you have to reformat the entire table again so try to rewrite it again Now we have to write it q to 0 one state and q to 1 another state. Now we have to check that for q3 whether they are producing the same output. For q3 they are producing the same output 0. So q3 will not get change. q3 will remain same. So here q3 will remain same. Now check for q4. Here q4 output is 1. Here q4 output is 0. So again we have to divide q4 into two parts q4 into two parts one is associated with output 0 another is associated with output 1 so just write here q4 0 another is q4 1 now obviously the q2 0 the, this output will be 0 and for q2 1 this output will be 1 and for q2 just write it as q1 this output as q4 uh, uh, the uh, associated output is here the associated output is 0 so just write it as q4 0 and q2 1 here it is q1 same and this one will be q4 0 and the associated output is associated output is 1 only and the associated output is 1 okay now for q3 look at this for q3 the it is q21 and as the output is 1 so the state must be q21 and this one is q1 so we can write it as q1 what should be the output the output of q3 output of q3 is everywhere is 0 so we will write it as 0 now for q4 0 now for q4 we have q4 1 so this q4 must be q4 1 and for q3 it will remain same and what should be the output that output must be associated with q40 and q40 we know the output is 0 and for q41 uh, the it will be same that is q41 here and this one is q3 and the output is 1 so this is the entire uh, uh, conversion from milli machine to moore machine now let us check how to convert the uh, moore, uh, moore machine to milli machine that one is little bit easier
machine to milli machine conversion. Now this is obviously Moore machine. How do we know that? Because the output is associated with the present state Q0 only. Now to convert it to Moore machine, we have to write the output that is associated with Q3 over here, output that is associated with Q1 over here. Now what is the output of Q3? We know that the output of Q3 is 0. In this case, each of the state will be associated with a single output only, unlikely to the milli machine that we have seen earlier. So, this Q3 the output should be 0, for Q1 the output is 1, for Q1 output is 1, for Q2 output is 0. For Q3 output is 0, here is also output is 0 and for Q0 output is 0. So, this is a milli machine. Now, Moore machine to Milli machine conversion is very easy. This one is my Moore machine and this one is my Milli machine. Now, let us solve a little bit complex problem. Let us consider a state diagram and convert this state diagram to a transition table that is the milli machine and convert it to Moore machine. Now consider this state diagram as it is a milli machine. So milli machine always the output depends upon the present state and the um, output depends upon the present state as well as the present input. Which one is the output over here? Z one. 
Now consider Q1 as the initial state. If I give an input 0 over here, it is transiting to Q2 and the output is Z1. This Z1 output is associated with the next state Q2 only. Similarly, if I give an input 1, it is going transiting to Q3 and producing the output Z1. This Z1 output is associated with Q3 only. Now in this way, let us con convert it to Milli machine. So, if I give input 0, so my next state is Q2 and output is Z1. If I give 1, my next state is Q3 and output is 1, right? Uh, sorry, not 1, uh, output is Z1. Now at Q2, this one is Q2, if I give input 0, it is transiting to Q2 and output is Z1. If I give input 1, it is transiting to Q3 and output is Z1. All the outputs are Z1. Let me check with the, sorry, I have written wrong, this one is Z2. So, for 0, if it is transiting to Q2 and the output is Z2 only, I am sorry for the mistake. And for Q3, again, if I give an input 0, it, it, if I give an input 0, it is going to Q2, output is Z1, and if I give 1, it is going to Q3, and output is Z2. Okay. Now, if I have to convert the Moore machine, what are the things that I have to take care of? I have to check that is there all the states are producing the same output. Now, let us check it. For Q1, no output is specified. Means, as it is an initial state, I am not giving any input. So, there should not be any output. So, I can write the output as phi or I cannot write anything. Now, for Q2, let us check. For Q2, here the output is Z1 here the output is Z2. That means Q2 is producing different output. In this case, what I have to do? I have to divide Q2 as a two part. One is Q2 Z1 or I can write it as simplified manner Q2 1. Another is Q2 0. Uh, I'm sorry, Q2 2. So, Q2 1 which is producing associated with the output Z1. Another is Q2 2 which is associated with the output Z2. Now, let us check for Q3, whether Q3 is producing the same output, here Q3 is producing Z1, here Q3 is producing Z2. So, we have two state of Q2. So, what we have to do that we have to divide Q3 as two state one Q3 1 which is associated with the output Z1, another is Q3 2 which is associated with the output Z2. Now, let us draw the table. Q1, then Q21, Q22, then Q31 and Q32. So, for Q1, I can write it as Q22, no sorry, not Q22, it should be Q21, because it is producing the output Z1, right? So, it should be Q21, Z1, 
this one should be q3 1 z1 because the output is z1 right now for q2 1 it should be q2 2 z2 and uh, this one is q3 1 z1 this one is also q22 z2 this one is q31 z1 for q31 this one is q21 z1 and this one is q32 z2 this one is again same q21 z1 q32 z2 it becomes little bit clumsy but make the things clear that I have to check that what is the output based on this I will change the input only means uh, based on this I will change the state only. So as here the output is showing z1 so my state should be q21 if the output shows z2 my state should be q2. Similarly for q31 and q32 also wherever the z1 in output is there the state should be q31 otherwise the state should be q32 that is it. Now, convert this as a mole machine, final mole machine. So, here there will be no output. So, you can write it as phi also. So, this is the final moon machine. Now, you have to convert this to state diagram again because earlier it was 3 state now it becomes 5 state. Now, in case of Moore machine state diagram, I have to write the output with each state. So, as it is q1, I do not have any output, so it should be phi. Now, if you give the input 0, I will not write the output over here, it is transiting to where? It is transiting to q21, right? It is transiting to q21 and what is the output of q21 that is z1 now if i give the input 1 it is transiting to q31 and what is the output of q31 that is z1 now at q21 if i give the input 0 it is going to q22 and what is the output z2 and if I give the input 1, then it is going to q31 with the output 1. Now, at q22, if I give the input 0, it is going to q22 only. And if I give 1, it is going to q31. And for q31, if I give input 0, it is going to q21. If I give input 0, it is going to q21. If I give input 1, it is going to q32. 
and the output is z2 and for q32 if i give input 0 it is going to q21 oh my god i have to give it like this it is q21 if i give 0 and if i give 1 it is going to q32 so this is my ultimate result